Hello guys today I am going to explain a thriller horror movie named Bodies Don't Call 911. Two brothers are shown as the movie starts. One of the brothers name is Jeffrey while other is Corey. Both brothers were paramedics. They both had got the emergency tracking number of the city's each hospital. As a result, any dialed number to the hospital by the victim. They also used to receive the same call. So both brother used to reach the location of that injured person. Then it is seen that a girl calls to hospital. And she tells, my hand has been fractured. Hearing it, both brothers drive their ambulance to that girl's house. Reaching there, both brothers bring that girl with them. They ask that girl some usual questions relevant to the health, which are normally asked by the doctors. The brother named Jeffrey between them. He makes that girl unconscious while giving her sedative. Afterwards, they bring that girl to their place. Bringing her there, they dissect the abdomen of that girl. And they take organs out of that girl. They sell those organs later. It is at least revealed here that they never used to serve any hospital. They used to seize the injured people. Afterwards, the organs of them were sold, taking them out. It means they were trading the human body organs for black market. Jeffrey posts a message through that girl's cell phone on the social media that I am going far away and I will never return. When Jeffrey's brother Corey views it, then he says to his brother Jeffrey, this message does not seem good excuse, just try another one. They had passed one month in this human organ trade. They had also gained a good earning through it. Between two brothers, Jeffrey was not as clever as Corey. Corey says to his brother, My brother, I have good affections for you. I promise that I will never leave you. After this, a girl named Cindy arrives on the scene. Cindy is on the recreational trip with her friends. Her foot is struck with a rock while skating. So Cindy's foot is fractured. Then Cindy calls a hospital, and they both brothers leave to pick her. Corey tells those friends that only patient can be driven away in the ambulance. Her friends cannot get in the ambulance, so they will have to wait outside. Then Cindy goes with them, getting in the ambulance. Jeffrey also knocks Cindy out like the other patients, and he was touching his hand on the head of Cindy. It was appearing as he knows about her. Then both brothers also bring Cindy to their location. After a while, they were nearly able to take out her body organs. As Corey is going to dissect her body, he is unable to do it. It was the first time that they faced it, as they are not taking courage to dissect anyone. Jeffrey suggests to Corey, we will do it later. We will dissect her later. Hearing it, Corey leaves from there. Then Jeffrey again touches the head of Cindy, and he is looking at her carefully. Coming into the senses, Cindy finds herself bound in a room. She is saying while looking at the camera that, kindly let me go from here. But her words are not cared and ignored by the two brothers. There are some dresses. Cindy puts them on. Cindy is very grieved, finding herself there. And she also weeps a lot. Then Corey brings food for Cindy. But Cindy throws that food. Noticing it, Corey is angered on her. But Cindy kicks him while moving her hands and feet. As a result, Corey is aggressive on Cindy. And he says to Cindy in threatening tone, You took a risk by hitting me. Look, you will have to pay it heavily. Saying it, Corey leaves from there. Then it is seen that Jeffrey begins to clean the blood stains on Cindy's body. Suddenly, Cindy restores her senses. And she also kicks Jeffrey. Jeffrey tells, I have brought food for you. But Cindy makes him run without hearing him. And she herself takes food. Corey feels pleasure, witnessing Cindy's such miserable condition, because he wished the same. After a time, both brothers arrive there. They say to Cindy, We are here to dress your fractured feet. But Cindy overlooks him. Then Corey threatens her, I will end you if you don't do what I say. Corey says to Cindy, I have also brought shoes for you, so you may be recovered soon. Corey twists Cindy's leg more while checking it, so that Cindy may not escape from there. Now Cindy's leg is also fractured. She is facing a bitter pain, and she is shouting. Then Corey shows Cindy a pain reliever. He says to Cindy, if you want to take pain reliever, you will have to carry out what I say. Hearing it, Cindy agrees with him. So Corey gives her the dose of pain reliever. Here it is revealed that it was not pain reliever, but it was a knockout drug. Taking it, Cindy loses her consciousness. Cindy asks Corey, coming into the sense, how long will you behave with me like this? Then Corey says to her, until I want. Cindy requests him to not make me unconscious. Corey promises with Cindy, I will never knock you out next time. Coming into his room, Jeffrey is keenly observing a photo at night, and he is also weeping. It was the photo of girl with Jeffrey and Corey. She was resembling Cindy. Corey comes to Jeffrey while seeing him cry, and he comforts him. He consoles him saying that, don't overthink it. He himself looks at that photo, going into his room, and he gets worried. Then Corey goes to Cindy, taking the meal. Cindy asks him, for how many days will you keep me here? Cindy irritates Corey saying, I think you are mentally unstable, so you have gone psychologically ill. You entrap the innocent people. After this, you treat them worst. Corey says, I am a devil, and I committed to save the lives of the people, because single human organ may save many lives. When Cindy is dressing herself, then Jeffrey brings meal for her. 
He turns his face as he sees Cindy, dressing herself. Then Cindy goes near Jeffrey, and Jeffrey immediately runs from there. Corey witnesses everything. He instantly gets the point that Cindy is trying to entrap his brother, so she may escape from there, taking the support of Jeffrey. But Corey wanted to judge his brother. Either his brother Jeffrey inclines towards Cindy or remains loyal with him, so he is observing everything quietly. Cindy says to Corey, coming before the camera, I know that you are keeping an eye on me. Jeffrey moves to his room at night for rest. Now he had started to like Cindy, and he was thinking about Cindy. In the following morning, Jeffrey prepares healthy breakfast for Cindy. Corey is infuriated, seeing it. Corey tells, I am going to Cindy, because I have to dissect her body, and I have to sell it to earn money. Hearing it, Jeffrey feels anxious, but he could not contradict his brother, because he had no one in this world except his brother. Going to Cindy, Corey asks some health questions, but Cindy does not answer them. Then Corey threatens her saying, In case you did not answer my question, then I will fracture your other leg. Hearing it, Cindy is afraid that he may not fracture her other leg, so she answers all asked questions. Then Cindy begins to use swear words for Corey. Hearing it, Corey loses his temper for her but he leaves from there. Afterwards, Jeffrey comes to Cindy, and Cindy tries to lure him. She says to him, You are very nice, and you deal me with good manners, and I have started to feel for you. And Corey was also witnessing this through camera. Corey is compelled to think it that my brother is being lured by her. Cindy asks Jeffrey, Why did you not end me till now? Why have you kept me alive? Then Jeffrey shows Cindy the same photo. He tells, This girl was our sister who resembles you. These three siblings used to live together at a location after their parents' death. When Corey joined college, he started to bring his friends at house. Witnessing it, Corey's sister felt ill. Taking the stress of it, she fell ill, and one day she died. Jeffrey also tells that Corey is responsible of the death of my sister. Knowing it, Cindy understands that she resembles their sister, so they did not put her into death. After this, Jeffrey comes to Corey. Corey attempts to explain to him, that girl is just trying to entrap you. Jeffrey is angry with his brother, hearing it, and he begins to shout at him. Once, you have snatched my sister from me. But I will not let you do it now. Being aggressive, Jeffrey begins to harm himself. Corey explains to him, Look, I am your brother. I have deep feelings for you. No one can love you more than me. Afterwards, Jeffrey is shown who again goes to Cindy. Cindy says to him, You are better than your brother. And I feel comfortable while passing my time with you. Hearing it, Jeffrey suggests to Cindy, We should flee. So they may go far from Corey. And Corey may never find them. Corey gets anxious, knowing it. Because his brother had completely inclined to Cindy. He has gone insane in love of Cindy, that he was ready to take any step. Even he was also ready to leave his brother. Then Corey takes Jeffrey at his job after going to him. There is also a boy with them when they come back. It is obvious that he was their target. Now they were going to take out his body organs. Corey ties up Cindy and says to her that, I am going to show you something. Cindy forbids him many times to not do as such, but he ignores her. Tying up, he restores the senses of that boy, and he begins to take out the organs of his body in front of Cindy. That boy starts shouting with pain, and Cindy also feels ill, witnessing it. Cindy is left shocked to witness this, because she was seeing the human dissection for the first time. Corey says to Cindy, coming close to her, It is not favorable what are you doing, and I will show such dissection every day. Corey says to Jeffrey, I want to take outside food today, and he sends Jeffrey outside. Corey says to Cindy, coming to her, It is enough now, you have crossed all boundaries. You lured my brother, and he also reveals it to Cindy. That my sister was not dead because of any shock. In fact, I had poisoned her. Cindy is left shocked, knowing it. Then Corey releases a gas in a room which causes unconsciousness. As a result, Cindy loses her consciousness. Afterwards, Corey stitches Cindy's body. He also stitches her lips. Coming back, Jeffrey is gone aggressive while seeing such state of Cindy. Then Corey clears him. It is all right what has been done by me. Because this girl had entrapped you. Jeffrey is enraged so he does not listen to a single word of Corey and he knocks Corey out while hitting his head on the floor. At the same time, Cindy restores her senses, and she knocks Jeffrey out while attacking him. Jeffrey is knocked out and Cindy runs away, getting a chance. When both brothers come into their senses, then Corey handles his brother Jeffrey and consoles him. Corey says to him, I had alerted you as that girl was just luring you. She was not trustworthy. Then the scene takes place after some years, where a wounded girl calls them for help. When these siblings reach there, driving their ambulance, then that girl makes them unconscious while attacking them. There was not only that girl but also other girls. They were not any other but Cindy and her friends. Those girl take them to their location, lifting them up. They are tied after taking them there. Coming into the senses, Corey is shocked, finding him there. They had tied Jeffrey exactly as they had tied Cindy. Corey says to Cindy, leave my brother because I am guilty of everything. Let him go. But Cindy was not ready to agree with him. 
She says, I will show to your brother all your body organs, taking them out, as you did it with everyone. But Corey forbids her to do as such. Jeffrey says to Cindy, you were in love with me, so why are you doing it all? Then Cindy says to Jeffrey while stabbing knife into his body, how could I like you? I never fell in love with you. Then a man comes outside of that girl's place for delivery services. Actually, he had come to receive the body organs. Seeing him, Cindy goes outside and that man demands the body organs. And he says to her, If you provide me the body organs, then I will hand you over a heavy amount of money. Cindy says to him after hearing it, Just wait for five minutes. I am bringing the body organs within five minutes. Saying it, Cindy moves to take the body organs. Here Cindy was going to dissect Corey's body to take out the organs. And the movie also completes on this scene. Thank you for watching, please like the video.